I have found some poor man's pepper. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's what I found. Here's some more of it right there. Okay, here are some juniper berries. I don't know if you can see these. This is a red cedar. And they kind of have gut flavor, not a lot of nutritional value. Plenty of wild onions down here. So, I've got my wild onions, but I am not staying because the mosquitoes are terrible. Okay, so I catch something and I can flavor the food and make maybe a stew. I don't have a container, I might have to make my own container. But at least I have these wild onions. And uh, I'm gonna go higher, go up the hill to make my shelter. You don't like it down here? Too wet. Move out. Get out of the lot. So there's some wood sorrel. You see the little hearts. So there's one. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like a heart. Three hearts. These are kind of growing out in the open, but these new new shoots kind of taste like green beans if you don't cook them. Kind of tastes like green beans when you do cook them, but this, this is green briar. Here's some thistle. And looks like it's just now growing out here. That's good, because that's like, it's also like green beans, kind of like a mix between celery and green beans. And that's really, really good tinder there. And I got down to the base of the cedar trees and got the driest wood I could find. Um, it, the trunk was completely saturated, but some of these smaller limbs had already dried. So I'm going to try to use these. I don't know if I can get this to work, but I'm going to try. Let's see what we can do with this bodark. As our... Well, that's definitely less, less friction. Ooh, I got one. Hot damn. Hot damn, got a cold. Hell yeah. But that is a hard earned coal there. Well, apparently, I have found a popular spot, and that'll be good because that's a container if I need to use it. Um, but there's some other cans over there laying near my dog. Right behind her is a bottle. Another mason jar right there with the lid rusted off of it. It's been here for a long time. So I don't know if this was just some kind of hobo camp. Or somebody just dumped some stuff off. But for me it's a plus because I've got some containers. So I've made some... Uh cordage at a boat arc um, bark <laughs> so what I did on this one is I just braided it and I'm going to use that um, to tie my shelter down so like a domed structure still small a little bit bigger than a brush shelter because I don't need a brush shelter tonight I've got some on the back side of it, bent around, tied into it. Carpet the floor with a bunch of brush first, a bunch of these leaves. I'm just going to pile up some of these leaves here and then take some 
softer stuff and lay over the top of it. The idea here was just to thatch it and uh, didn't have to be perfectly rainproof. All right, I got my shelter up, got my fire going, got my firewood over here, got my onions over there, onions and pepper grass and green briar and um, what's it called? Wood sorrel. And there's some ants all on this log right here. They're going crazy. But uh, this is it. Roasting that onion. It's pretty good stuff. Not pretty good.